What's up guys, I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to uh, another episode of the Cars Tour Vlog, a little special edition today. It is qualifying day for the season finale, the ender of the Cars Tour season. Here in the trailer, getting ready for practice and qualifying to start. Big uh, big championship on the line this week. Got uh, Carson Quaffle, Brandon Queen, 19 points, separating for the Lake Model Stock Cars Tour Championship this year. I'll get it out in a minute. But uh, we're gonna follow them along today. Uh, see how they practice, qualify, talk to them, see if uh, any nerves is on the line. Carson, smooth operator, probably ain't worried about it a bit. We'll talk to Butterbean, he's always a good time. So uh, with all that said, I know it's been a minute since we uh, we seen you last, but let's go ahead and get started.
running across the track to uh, hopefully the rear end was here so he'd get ready to go qualifying. But hey, coming back empty handed. Got run over by a race car. I was looking for the golf cart. Can't find it. Watch out, watch out, man. You almost got hit. So what he's saying is they have not got a golf cart here yet, so it's 20 more minutes while modifieds practice that they're not going to be able to get the rear end in. So that's a uh, very uh, needed 20 minutes to get the rear end in so they can go qualify at 5 p.m. So uh, let's keep following the story. We got to have to Got them a game plan ready. All the late for performance guys. Thanks to the car store officials for working with us. They know we got a lot of on the line this weekend. Brendan Butterbean talking to uh, Brandon Brown. He does runs a social South Boston promoter for next year. He's running the cars tour social media stuff this weekend. Just come off the I ain't a golf cart. It was a pickup truck. roll over to qualifying tech now with so many race cars here and everybody's already lined up for the qualifying line they're going to take butterbean's car the back way to go through qualifying tech they made it over here to tech where they'll give them their qualifying and race tires they change the tires now Cars tour officials letting them know they're gonna work them in in between the pro late models so they can get across scales, get lined up, go qualifying. qualifying line. Hi, hey, Bean, man. What a two hours it's been. Oh, man. Um, that's why this team never quits right here. here LPP ain't got no quit. No quit. We got it done, and we're rolling to qualify. We made it through tech, and we've got uh, 
23 minutes to spare. Whoa, How man, that? you could almost do it again. <laughs> we could if we had all the parts together. What does this do to you mental? Uh, you know, I You, you clear I your mind now and just go lay down your two laps? You've been fast all day or all weekend? I think I've raced enough to have situations like this happen. This ain't the first time I've broke and it ain't the last. Uh, I think, you know, as a, as a, I've gotten older, in my younger days, I'd stress, and I'm not saying I eat stressed right yeah, now, yeah. but you just learn how to channel that into positive, your positive attitude, because if you're negative, that group don't need to see a negative person. Absolutely, man. You're the team you leader. lift them up, keep them positive, and that's what wins championships and races. So, uh, uh, two laps is going to lead to that starting spot tomorrow, 19 points. I mean, do you think about that rolling into qualifying? There's some bonus points on the line if you win the poll. But you won a lot of them this year. What, what, well, let's don't get run out. Honestly, I just go into every race the same mindset. I mean, you always want to get the pole. You want to lead every lap. And you want to win. And uh, this weekend ain't no different. So it all starts right here, right now, with this two laps. It all starts right here. And, um, you know, we'll survey what we have after qualifying, whether we need to put the rear back in that we fixed tonight and started the rear. But if we're on the pole, we're not going to the rear. <laughs> well, let's go see what these two laps hold, man. Yes, sir. All right, we're caught up with Brad Edwards, who's Carson Quapple spotter. Uh, 16 race schedule, man, this year, and it comes down to the last race, rolling in with a 19 point lead tomorrow night. From a spotter standpoint, you got to keep him calm and cool during the race. Do you approach this race any different, uh, leading in with a 19 point lead, or is it business as usual? Yeah, yeah, definitely business as usual. Same thing we've done the previous 15 races. Uh, just looking for a solid finish. Uh, biggest thing is you can't take yourself out of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that can happen, but as long as we do our job and control what we can control, you know, we should be there at the end. Is Carson a emotional driver? Do you ever have to calm him down or pump him up on the radio? <laughs> no, man. Carson is as calm as I've ever seen, man. I've never, I've never seen that dude get mad or yell at anybody or, or on the radio or anything. Uh, so yeah, he's pretty calm. He don't, he don't say a whole lot during the race. I mean, we, we may pick at each other under a red flag or something, but other than that, it's it's all business when the advisor goes down. All right, Carson, qualifying's coming up, man. 19-point uh, lead rolling into tomorrow. Do you approach it any different for these uh, for these two laps, or is it business as usual? Uh, really nothing nothing different. I mean, always try to qualify as best we can and always try to go for the pole. So uh, nothing, nothing really too different. Uh, obviously, just can't make a big mistake, but that's just kind of the normal week in and week out thing. Just minimize the mistakes and uh, try to get uh, the main position we can. Well, we talked with Brad Edwards, your spotter, earlier. Do you uh, ask him tomorrow at any point, where's the 0-3, or is it completely out of your mind? You're just focused on the race. I mean, it, it depends. Situational. I mean, if we're running, running fourth, fifth, then it's kind of like whatever. Uh, I mean, just go race your own race. But if something, something unfortunate happens to us or uh, we have a bad day and we're kind of sitting around the bubble spot, then I might, I might be a little bit curious. But uh, honestly, just not not freaking out about it too much. Uh, I mean, as long as we run uh, a race like like every other race we have this season, we should be just fine. Motorbean into his qualifying spot or trying to modify it. A little bit of a cluster here as he tries to get in the spot, his original qualifying spot.
focus to switch over to the Ada Quapple. About to go up qualifying. Carson, that qualifying's over with. Man, you rolled off 14th tomorrow for 125 laps. What uh, What's the game plan now, rolling off a little deeper in the field and what you would have liked? Yeah, I mean, honestly, just more so. I mean, nothing really out of the ordinary other than just pay more attention in front of us. Uh, usually we're, we're up a little bit more than that, so we usually don't, don't have too many cars in front of us to really, really get together with. So uh, just going to be all about looking forward. I think I honestly think we have a better car than that. I, I really messed up qualifying on my good lap there coming to the coming to the line so i think we should be a little bit farther up so i'm not i'm not super concerned just gotta stay out of trouble and be there at the end all right butterbean we talked a while ago man uh dreams coming true here uh putting a little pressure on you uh competitor <laughs> you gotta beat tomorrow he's rolling off 14th you sitting in the bird seat man talk about it talk about these lpp guys first off i gotta thank jay hedgecock and cam hedgecock and all those guys for bringing us to the rear because cameron would have qualified top 20 the way he come in the pits he, in his truck he come in and he'd have been starting on the front row probably <laughs> but uh you know people like that that's big and the eight car and uh minnie's team and everybody that tried to offer us rears was a huge deal and then this lpp team no quit as always uh i told them let it sink in that's what we just did is something that it's hard enough to get a pole in this series, but to do it under those circumstances is what makes a championship team. And 
Man, I'm just super proud of them. No I, quit in them. I, man, they work their tail off, and that's how you repay them. But the main thing, man, is you just got to stay positive because, like, you don't want them to see negativity when they're working their guts out because, like, they, they fuel off the driver, and I fuel off them, and we all just – there's no finger pointing. We just stay in it together, and, man, that's what happens. So, man, hey, like I said, uh, there could be some trouble in the middle of the field tomorrow, and that's where he's at. I know your focus will be just out front, lead as many laps. You already got the bonus points from the pole award. So uh, do you ask for, uh, you know, up-to-date points in the car, or do you just focus on the main goal tomorrow? I think uh, unless he has a big problem, I probably don't really want to know. I just need to keep doing my thing, and – you know, we got to go out there. We know what we have to do to make our – like, we have to do all we can, which is lead the most laps, get all the points we can, and win the race. And he's going to have to have a problem. But it would be nice if something does happen to have an update, like, hey, we can finish 10th now. And, like, you know, then I can just race for the win. But I also don't do anything stupid to wreck myself at that point, too. So there will be a little bit of updates. But I think for the most part, the eight's going to be strong like he always is. And – you know, he's going to make us have to have to win the race. When you and uh, Nicole get back to the hotel tonight, do you uh, just sit down and pinch yourself like, man, is this really happening? Is this really me? <laughs> well, it's her birthday, so i got to take her to dinner. Oh, man, man what, what a birthday what present. What a good birthday present, and hopefully we can cap it off tomorrow. But I'm sure her and I will have a couple laughs and just be able to breathe for a minute because it's been a long afternoon. Horn just went off. They're giving all the cars to our teams 30 minutes for a work session. 30 minutes to the dots. Everybody make their adjustments now. With all these modifieds here, you're not able to uh, impound the car. So uh, go let them work and put in the trailer. Teams are rolling team. The teams are rolling tires. I get it out in a minute to impound. Now they'll get them back tomorrow to race on. Most part of the 30 minutes they got to get them over here. You look at the champion trophies for tomorrow. Caden Quapel already clinched the pro late model, but the late model stock, as you have seen today, is still very could be ever be Quapel or Queen on that tomorrow. If you plan on coming out to Caraway Speedway tomorrow, come see Miss Rebecca up here at the apparel. They got the Cars Tour shirts on sale. Can't beat that deal right there tomorrow. She'll be here all day tomorrow. Come by and check her out. Buy a shirt. Cars Tour hat. Five dollars. You can't even. You can't even eat at McDonald's, $5. $5 for your throwback shirts, $5 for the North Wilkesboro shirts, $5 for the North State National shirts. Our hoodies will be half price at $20. Bucks. Our long sleeve and short sleeve Cars Tour shirts are going to be $12. You can't beat it. You can't beat it with the stick. Well, that's going to wrap the day up here at the famous Four Tenths Mile Caraway Speedway. Tomorrow's a big day. If you can't make it out here tomorrow for the North-South Shootout, the ender of the Cars Tour season, you can catch it live on flow. Ray, the green flag drops tomorrow at 1. Ain't no practice. Ain't no qualifying. Just pure, I think it's like 400 laps if you total it up, of door-to-door uh, -door racing tomorrow with uh, late models and the uh, tour-type modifiers and 602 mods. It's a uh, race fan's dream tomorrow. So come on out if you can. See if uh, Queen can capitalize and win that championship or watch it on flow. So other than that, y'all know what to do for more Cars Tour content. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you tomorrow.